Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are getting back to work on the Evo 10. I had a good name for this car. Pretty sure I'm gonna call this car Stevo. Somebody commented, sus Evo. I tried to combine it and got Stevo. Kind of works. First things first, we got started off with some body work. We went ahead and got that fender all finished up. That guy is pretty much ready to be sprayed. We still have a ton of prep work to do. So sand the front bumper, rear bumper hood, other fender for blending. We have a hood scoop to sand, and then we have a wing to sand as well. And I wanna get all this done today. And I also wanna go drive this car today. It's not gonna have any body panels on it, but I still wanna go drive it. If we can get all this body work done at a reasonable time, I'm gonna get the Evo 10 all finished up. We have a few parts to install and we can take it out of the shop and go on, and go on a nice little cruise in that thing. So let's go ahead and get all this body work knocked out. I thought I was fast at prep work and gonna be able to knock this all out in like two or three hours. It is 7 p.m. right now, so we've been at it for like eight hours. We have everything prepped out for the most part. We have the bumpers done, fenders are done. I got an OEM scoop, that's all prepped out. Last thing to get scuffed up for the Evo 10 is the wing. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out of the car. It is currently blue. That's probably the only part that we're gonna have to apply sealer onto just because Trying to spray graphite gray over blue. Probably is gonna take like 40 coats to cover, so I'll, I'll go ahead and seal that up in the morning because there's no way we're gonna paint tonight. So let's grab the wing. I'm gonna sand the whole entire wing down to 400. So kind of my, what I've been doing is panels that are getting base and clear, those are going 400 and or red scuff pad. And then panels such as the front fenders that are just getting blended for the most part and the sides of the rear bumper, those are going 800 on the DA or a gray scuff pad. So that's kind of my rule of thumb. Seems to work out pretty good. Yeah, let's grab the wing, get that thing all sanded down. And then we do have to pull the STI in here, pull off a fender and get that prepped out so we can get that painted at the same time. All right, so all the Evo parts are ready to go. I'm gonna give everything one last scrub down with scotch Bray and some Dawn dish soap. Get them blown off the compressed air. They'll be nice and dry by the morning. And then we can pull in the STI, pull off that fender and give her some good prep work.
Good morning guys, it's the next day and today is paint day. I'm excited. First thing we need to do is go ahead and get all the cars out of the shop and get our inflatable paint booth set up. Well guys, this is technically the first drive of the Evo. Granted, we're just driving out of the shop 10 feet, but she moves under her own power. So we got the giant booth all set up. Fits in the shop perfectly. Got it nice and warm in here. I'm trying to get up to 75. The first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and seal the wing just so it's a nice gray color. And that'll be much easier to paint over. So we're gonna seal that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and spray base on the fender, pull the fender out, base all of the other parts, and then put the fender back in the booth and we can clear everything at once. All right, my friends, let's go ahead and load up the booth with all the Evo 10 parts. So, quick rundown. Front bumper, full respray. Rear bumper, respray the center. Blend out to about the edge here, just so we don't have to deal with any quarter panel blending. Front fenders are gonna be blended as well, just so the whole front end matches. Hood, full respray. Hood scoop, full respray. And then, of course, the wing, the full spray as well. So I gotta pull that STI fender out of the booth. 
get all these parts in the booth and we can go ahead and shoot these out. All right, my dudes, base is all sprayed out. Let's pop inside this booth and take a look. Ah. It clears up pretty quick in here. There is a little bit of cloudiness in the shop, but it's all pretty dry. So let's grab a light. This color match is really, really nice. I'm excited to see what it looks like under some clear. So fenders are all sprayed out, looking beautiful. Bumper blended nicely. Front bumper got a full spray, of course hood turned out phenomenal like i said i'm stoked to see it under clear scoop and the rear wing so sick all right i'm gonna go ahead and get the sti fender back in here and then we can shoot out uh shoot out some clear and we'll be done Every time we paint, paint, we always have some sort of issue. Not really having a paint issue today, but we're having a Devon is stupid issue. First coat of clear went on perfect. Went to go mix up the second coat and realized I did not have enough clear hardener. And it's Saturday, all the paint stores are closed. Called my brother Austin, he's got some fast hardener, which I'm not a big fan of. I usually just run slow. It allows it to lay out a little bit flatter, I've noticed. But. It is what it is. That's all, that's the only option we have right now. We have one coat of clear on. Can't stop halfway through. So I'm gonna go grab this fast clear hardener from Austin, head back to the shop, and then we can knock out another coat of clear. 
Always check your supply before you start painting. Lesson learned. Good news and bad news. Good news is all the clear is laid on. It's all good to go. Bad news is because I went to from a slow to a fast hardener, I tried to lay it on a little bit thicker so lay out flatter, not as much orange peel. And of course I got my fair share of runs. I'll show you guys that later on. But for now, I'm just gonna leave the shop. I will let this uh, clear harden up for a few hours and then I'll come back here tonight and we can go ahead and take a look at the parts. I wish it turned out better. Runs are always annoying. Alright, everything looks pretty good. Definitely a fair share amount of runs. Runs are pretty easy to get out. I'd rather deal with runs, honestly, over orange peel. There's gonna be a little bit of orange peel correction, but like check out this run right here. This is this is pretty bad. That's a freaking gnarly run. It's okay though. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the parts out of the booth. It's been like five hours, so they're plenty dry, tack free, and then probably tomorrow we can assemble the car, do some nibbing on the parts, get out all the dirt and get out the runs, maybe do a little polish and see how everything looks. The rest of the car is extremely crusty, so I know like the gloss level is not gonna be anywhere close, but being that we blended everything in, we shouldn't have any sort of issues at all with parts not matching because there's gonna be no new paint, new base, new color, but it right up to the factory color. Everything's blended in, so we should be good there. All right, we got the shop all cleaned up. Cars are back in. Parts are ready to be dried and cured by the morning. Let's take a quick quick glance at the blend. So this fender was of course blended from right about here, this whole top section, and then all the way back to, I stopped, I stopped right about halfway. So this back here, that's all factory base coat. Of course we cleared the whole fender, but that's all factory base. And that is the new base. So right up in here was the blending. Safe to say that was a pretty freaking good match but just blended it to make sure. Overall, pretty excited with the paint job. Not quite a professional yet. If I was a pro, we wouldn't have probably a total of, I would say like 10, no, not 10, probably eight runs total to sand out. And then there's a little bit of dirt here and there, but orange peel wise, we're pretty solid. It looks good. Probably because it laid on so wet, it ran. Rear bumper turned out nice. This is where we had all the damage. Can no longer tell that anything happened there. And then she's blended to right about here. So she should match the quarter panels perfectly. Hood looks really nice. I don't see any dents in it. Quite a bit of dirt in the hood, honestly. Mainly right up in here. But it's such a flat piece, it'll be easy to nib out. This color looks really nice. This is a very, very sick color. I set that wing up on Bobby's car just for fun to kind of compare graphite gray versus the phantom black. I don't know, they're both nice colors. Also one more thing that I decided to try out this time around is doing a nice little fade on the intersection of the fender. I wanted this to look as original as possible, keep the VIN tags and whatnot. So I faded the paint down a little bit and it turned out really nice. Pretty excited with that, especially for being my first time attempting that. Looks pretty factory. But that is gonna be a wrap for today. Nice little two day project here and pretty stoked with how it turned out. So tomorrow we'll get the car put back together and actually see how everything looks. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Peace out my friends, I'll see you tomorrow.